You're watching KPRC2, Houston's home for news. I still remember that kid afraid to open the door. As we learned before the break, Amanda Mamana, who auditioned on America's Got Talent last week, has a speech impediment. She stutters when she speaks, but it goes away when she sings. It is inspiring and fascinating all at the same time. Health reporter Haley Hernandez here tonight with some insight from a local speech expert. Haley. Yeah, I talked to a local expert and she said there's a reason that we see singers and actors use their talents to overcome a stutter. It can be easier to take memorized words or music, which comes from a different part of the brain than language. It's another amazing way the brain works. Someone like Amanda Mamana sings beautifully. Me back to life. But she discovered this voice when speaking didn't come as easy. That I don't stutter when I sing. Houston speech pathologist Kathy Sweeney specializes in stuttering and explains speaking and singing come from different parts of the brain. You don't create your song when you step up on the stage. So you have practiced it. It is on the creative side of the brain that feeds into smoother speech. And there's plenty of famous examples like Bruce Willis, George Springer, Mel Tillis in 1976 joked on The Tonight Show about a track on his album that he says took hours to edit out stuttering. It's hitting in Florida <laughs> and Houston. Now, I can't even do the record. <laughs> It's hit now. As uplifting as it is to see him making light, Sweeney says more people coming forward helps understanding and inclusion for those with speech impediments. Hey, like, I can never do anything like this. Like, I'm not good enough. You are good enough. Yeah. It's, you know, heartwarming to see someone be so free in what they've chosen to do. You know, talents and gifts are more than just a few speech bumps. Yeah, so Sweeney says that her um, clients are most successful in high stress situations like a job interview or an audition when they tell the person yeah. that they have a speech impediment. It just allows for that person to give them a little more patience that right. they might yeah, need. Without a doubt, yes. And speak with confidence exactly. you know, at their own pace. But how inspiring yeah. to hear her Amanda sing. Yeah, like, I know. And how free she feels when she's doing it. Thank you for sharing that story, Haley.